everybody, welcome to the limited edition version of episode 94 of the world famous Toys for Games podcast. We are recording this on a Tuesday evening, October 25th, 2016. I am one of your hosts, Josh Brown. I am joined by the man who is getting ready for Trick or Treat just a little early, Jason Greer. Good evening, Josh. How are we doing tonight? Fantastic. Do you have your costume picked out? I do. What are we going as? Going probably as Superman for the third year in a row. Hey, you know what? Consistency. I like that. Yeah, man. You know, I I invested money into the costume, so sure. You know, I'm gonna make the money from it. Absolutely. You you taking you going out with the kiddos? That's. I used to love staying in my house, like seeing everybody's costumes and everything like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, the kiddos. It's much more fun to go out with them. So, yeah. uh, and every year. One of them just does just, 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 just does not grasp the concept, and first first house is I need that candy right now. Sure. Or we're like we're we're going to multiple house. No, I need it right now. <laughs> listen, we're going all on. You can get back and you choose. Again. No, like I need it right now. Like, okay, listen, this is not your first time in the radio. Right, you know we know how this works. Yeah, and then um, the best uh, Isaac. He's the he's the he's the one who got this got this figured out. And so Hubbard's rule is they can have one piece of candy that night, you know? Mm-hmm, yep. And so Joel, again, he's – whatever the first candy is, that's what he wanted. That's you know, it. like it's already decided. <laughs> doesn't matter what it could get. Like mine's already set. The very first thing he gets there. Uh, Isaac, like, pokes around, finds the biggest package that has the most pieces in it. So yep. he'll get, like, a big thing of, like, <laughs> skills or whatever. And then, like, I'm like – he just – like, he, when he picks it, he just gives her, like, a smirk. Like, he already outsmarted her. There's nothing she can do. Right. Uh, my favorite is inevitably there's always one kid in the group that is like the most excited to go out before it starts, and then like three houses sure. in, they're just like, "I'm done, I got enough." Yeah, you're like, "Wait a second, what? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be out here all night if I have to." Look got a long like, way to go. <laughs> Uncle Jason hasn't got any peanut butter cups yet. Yeah, and they just they're just some kids are just done with it. They're like, "Oh, that's one. It's like three houses." <laughs> Let's get the most out of these costumes here. Let's set aside a whole night for this. How's the weather over there Halloween usually? Oh, uh, it's pretty cool. It's typically like in the 60s or so. Sure. I-, I can't remember the last time we've had a Halloween out here where it hasn't rained. Sure. So that's always fun, just walking around in the rain, because kids are even more miserable at that point. Um, mm. Puddles and cars my favorite are the parents that drive their kids or drive alongside their kids. Oh, uh, worst. It's like, come on, let's if you're making your kid walk outside to go get free candy and you're just driving along because you don't want to get wet or you're too lazy or both, one, maybe you shouldn't be out trick or treating. Two, maybe find somebody else that your kids could go with that will have a more enjoyable time than watching mom and dad drive in the car next to them. Or just wait a day, go to your local supermarket, <laughs> buy a bag of fun size candy, and off. have way more fun. Because that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I, I can't stand parents that do that. Just, I understand you want to be close to your kid, you don't want them to go out by themselves. Sure, I get that, but if it's to the point where you're just driving alongside of them, you're doing it wrong. You're doing parenting wrong. Ridiculous. If if the weather is too bad for you, it's a thousand times too bad for your kid. So, sure. you know, let's just throw that out there. I hope nobody in our community are those parents. I'd like to think they're not. So I'm probably just preaching to the choir here, but still, it needs to be said, you know? I understand. Um, this is the limited edition version. It's a slow news week, Jason. Let's just throw that out there. It, we're going to have fun this week. We're going to make the most of it. Not a lot of things going on. So, you know, bear with us. We'll do our best. Um, I'd like to thank our executive producer, as always, George Torres. Uh, and then the show sponsor, Devin Lachinsky, who you could find over on his YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash dlash 2 That's the number two. Getting started into the news real quick. um, Let's do a little uh, update on Lightseekers, uh, Lightseekers Kickstarter campaign. Sure. Yeah, so Lightseekers, we're down to the final count, the final countdown. 
Uh, we're down to less than 10 days to go. Uh, they're currently at 1,200 backers, a total of $164,000 out of their $200,000 goal. Um, so they are getting ever so close to it. Mm-hmm. Um, so about 80, eight, a little bit above 80% of the way there. Um, so I would say they're still in a good pace. Yep. Still, you know, I wouldn't freak out, but obviously once you get well, 10 days, it's starting to get stressful. So um, still feeling pretty good. Uh, but again, keep keep spreading that word if you're excited just as much as we are. Um, obviously, we would love to see them um, get fully funded. So it has to be at least $200,000 pledged by Friday, November 4th at 12.17 Eastern Time. So sure. while you're going out there getting those Mebo on Friday, make sure you're tweeting it out about Light Seekers as well. Absolutely. And uh, stay tuned for the full edition of this podcast. Um, we'll be giving away a $5 donation to their Kickstarter campaign on behalf of somebody, which actually gets their name in the credits of the game. So that's going to be cool. Um, so stay tuned for the, the full podcast if you want to know what that's all about. But sure, uh, good on Lightseekers, 10 days. Um, the final week is going to be a push, but they've been steadily uh, moving up. So that's good. Um. Moving on to Lego Dimensions. Yeah, Lego Dimensions. Um, I guess you put it in here. I haven't seen it on there, but I guess the app got updated finally this week. Mm-hmm. Um, to show off Wave 6 and 7. Yes. Um, it just pull, uh, popped up tonight, actually. The Lego Dimension Collection Vortex app. On iOS, I assume it's Android also? Yes. Okay. Um, shows off Wave 6 and 7, um, the full cast. Um, it has a nice slideshow now where you could like see screenshots of the characters in action um, has the it has a button for building instructions which takes you to the website for the building instructions unfortunately it doesn't have them up for wave 7 yet um, I, it would be nice if they updated that on launch day we know still, better at this point but still understand why no <laughs> unbelievable you know they have them all they have to do is hit live on that button and make it happen but um <laughs> I don't know if anybody uses the app. It's it's a handy way to keep track of your Lego Dimensions collection until <clears throat> a far superior collection application is launched. Mm. Until then, we're just going to have to deal with this one. Just saying, mm. Matt. Um, let's move over to Amiibo, shall we? Yeah, so the Amiibo this week, obviously the internet was set ablaze. Uh, when he said internet, I would say, you know, all of the world yes. was hyped up uh, for the news of Nintendo Switch, which we had a little sound file there. I need to download that for my text alert. God, it's so good. Um, but there was some questions about that, and they're teasing out a little information and clarifying some stuff. Uh, and they gave this quote about Amiibo support, saying, if a Nintendo Switch game supports Amiibo, the Nintendo Switch home gaming system will as well. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> weird. Weird way of saying that, but sure. okay. I mean that that ultimately means that they could theoretically not add amiibo support to any Nintendo Switch game and never have to use amiibo again. In I theory, guess. yeah. But they did show amiibo in the the launch trailer. Yep. Or not launch trailer, but reveal trailer, I guess. So, yep. good sign. I think I think it's we're ninety nine percent sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't. I we'll get into the full system, but sure. I, I don't think it's going to be built into the system. Is my bet. I bet you that Bluetooth thing is going to get attached to it. Yeah, but, but who knows? Um, we're not going to hear anything else until next year. So, yep. Um, stay tuned for more Nintendo Switch slash Amiibo updates in 2017. But Nintendo is going dark until after the holidays, which good on them. Stay yeah. out, stay out of the kerfuffle of uh, fall launches and whatnot you don't, you don't want to get in the way of call of duty and and whatnot so it's better nintendo um finally let's uh let's chat about skylanders imaginators real quick yeah so a couple of things here uh they are still the good thing this year i feel like they're doing a lot more content skylanders typically does a lot of contests but this year they've been i feel like they've been doing a lot more mm-hmm. um both in game and out of game um but yeah so they have a creator contest out right now so you can actually win a 3d printed Skylander of your choice there. Um, at skylanders.com slash creator contest. So again, skylanders.com slash creator contest. Um, again, you just basically take a picture of your your 
creation, upload it, and verify everything online. Just and then you send in the URL of the image. Obviously, make sure if you have a private Twitter account or Instagram or Facebook account, uh, make sure you put it somewhere where they can see it because if you send them a link where it's private, they are not going to be able to choose you to win. <laughs> um, but then also the uh, Cartoon Network contest is up as well. So the infamous leak video that was out in Vimeo uh, that got re-uploaded on Cartoon Network's website. So uh, the air thing is live if you want to submit in that contest as well. Um, I don't know what you actually win over there, but you can win something over there. Um, but then the other big news this week is, uh, actually we talked about it last week, uh, Chompy Mage. Um, the Jingle Bell is the North American phrase for it. Jingle Bell, uh, Chompy Maze um, was revealed in the Toys R Us um, toy book. Um, again, I actually don't know the full story on this yet because the toy book leaked fully. And then some other people are like, no, nah, I got this image in the toy book. I'm like, I don't know where. And they said page 32 and stuff. So I don't know if there's different prints of it or whatever. Um, Cause I haven't got my physical printed version yet, but sure. Um, We're hundred percent sure it's the Toys R Us toy book. hundred percent. Hmm. They sent, yeah, cause I asked the person, like, can send a picture of the front of it? He's like, yeah, no problem. And it sent the front. It's the same picture of the book we already had. So I'm like, no clue. <laughs> Weird. Hmm. I wonder if Activision got word of that and pulled that page, or. Well, no, because it's, it was the 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 picture come out and the the one that people are getting in their house right now, not the leak. Oh, one. oh, oh! Like so physical saying, copies. Physical copies. Oh. Hmm. So I don't. I was. So I don't know if there's two different prints. Like if they ran it two different times and this came later. There's like a regional one. You know who knows. Hmm. It looks and great though. Yep. Looks fan freaking fantastic. Yes. Uh, and one little more tidbit about Skylanders. Uh, Skylanders Academy debuts on Netflix this weekend. Yes. I meant to add it in there. Yeah. Uh, clip out right now if you want to see it over at Family Gamer TV. Uh, but, yeah, looking forward to that uh, Friday. Probably uh, probably do it all Saturday morning. Sure. Might as well, right? Might as well. Get some get some PJs, some cereal. Have it old-fashioned style. <laughs> Sounds amazing um well i mean like i said pretty pretty light news week um pretty much covered all the main topics uh if you'd like more in-depth fuller discussion of of what we're going to be talking about uh stay tuned for the full edition of episode 94 um again we'll do the community question and emails along with um all this news that you've heard here but uh until then jason where can people uh, get a hold of you at if you want to follow me personally, you can head to twitter.com slash Jason Inquires. And, of course, that's the uh, same handle for my Instagram, uh, YouTube, and all that fun jazz. Having YouTube videos up every day this week for the next couple of weeks, probably, hopefully, maybe. Um, and then you can always head to Brick Inquirer and Skylanders Inquirer for all your latest Toys Life news. Sure. And if uh, you'd like to find out what videos uh, Skylanders character list SCL Matt is going to be putting up. Be sure to follow Jason's YouTube account, and he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna tease and leak <laughs> what videos Matt will be putting up later in the day. So um, I'll get to, I'll get to that in the full the okay. full full thing. Unbelievable, unbelievable. That's all I can say. <laughs> oh, um, one last plug: uh, Extra Life uh, for this year, uh, big charity events. Um, I will be doing a twenty four hour live game stream. Uh, two weeks from now, less than two weeks, November 5th, um, 12.01 a.m. Pacific time until midnight. Um, so early, early morning, late Friday night, early morning Saturday through the entire day of Saturday. Um, I have a link to the donation page up on toysforgames.com. Uh going to be part of the kind of funny team helping them raise money and uh i'm going to have some giveaways throughout the day but i'm definitely going to be playing some skylanders some lego dimensions uh probably a few more games i think colin's going to come over at some point on saturday and we'll play some co-op games uh so it should be fun um so uh, it'll be hosted over at twitch.tv slash toys for games of course and uh yeah it's going to be a lot of fun, and, and I hope the way I set it up, I will be able to sleep all night Saturday and then wake up at a normal time on Sunday and still have my Sunday to recover. Because sure. last year, I did 8 a.m. to 8 a.m., and then 
I immediately went to sleep and I woke up for dinner time on Sunday and then went right back to yep. bed. So it was stupid. I, I, I just wasted an entire day for no reason. So <laughs> I, I'm trying to be smarter about it this year. Um, but yeah, like I said, that'll be November 5th. Um, you can find me personally on Twitter at The Noise. Uh, please follow the show on Twitter at Toys for Games. You could email us, podcast at toysforgames.com. Uh, check out our Facebook group, facebook.com slash groups slash toys for games. Uh, and then our website, of course, is toysforgames.com, where we'll have full rundown of Extra Life and everything else you need to know about that. And then if you'd like to support us and what we do, uh, you could do so over on Patreon, patreon.com slash toys for games. That being said, we're going to turn it over to the full episode. We're going to have fun over there. I guarantee it. Uh, but if you're not sticking around for that one, it's been a pleasure. And until next time, happy hunting, collectors. <laughs>